Hi everyone, this is Aish Bakshi and let's talk about rendering today and how to change things after it is done. Let's say what we are seeing right now is a render output and we want to change the color of this plate, maybe the brightness of this velvet sofa and number of things we want to do after the rendering. So the classic method we all know of is uh, multimat. If you go to Maya, select an object give it an attribute object id set up its id then if you go to a render setup and set this multimat render element you will have uh, this which is uh, three isolated objects or a set of objects in a red green and blue channels so we are aware of the limitation that to have all the objects or more than three objects we need uh, multiple images per file like in exr file we need multiple bitmaps inside of it having only three objects per image so that can be cumbersome for easy setups yes multimat can be used but other method which is here for quite a while cryptomat it is more intuitive and friendly so let's go to the same properties and add it into our render elements once that is done and we render again we will see something like this so it isolated each and every object for the compositing software visually it doesn't make sense and it doesn't have to because we will be using it just fine once the rendering is done after adding the cryptomat render element go to file Save all image channels to single file. This is what we need for the EXR file to work. Save it. Then by default, we have uh, DaVinci as our compositing tool right now. And DaVinci and Fusion, they came a long way and are very similar. There are a set of scripts, free scripts for Fusion called Reactor. But now it is available for DaVinci too. So once you search uh, Reactor DaVinci Resolve, the first link will land you here. On this page, you don't have to do much, just uh, download the installer. And it is one of those scripts which is uh, drag and drop to install. Here is the Lua file. DaVinci uses .lua for scripts. Just drag it and drop it on a fusion page and it will ask uh, all these things just uh, install and launch it will take some time it is downloading things from internet and that is why I am doing this on my personal machine anyway it doesn't download any malicious software it's just uh, Lua scripts that don't even have access to internet so you can install it on your personal machine don't worry Alright, it took longer than I expected, but this will happen only for the first time. So once that is done, you will be presented with Fusion Reactor. It is a suite of uh, all the available scripts that you can easily search and install. So to access this, go to in workspace, scripts, reactor, open reactor. So you will get that uh, same window. Here you need to install two things. One is uh, EXR splitter. I believe it is hos split yes so this is a very useful and well-known script within davinci and the fusion community so it is a must-have if you are into compositing once that is ticked it is installed second thing is of course cryptomat here we have uh, just installed the cryptomat so once these are installed you may or may not need to restart davinci but for the safe side, let's uh, restart it. Now for that EXR file we exported, for it to work, uh, we need to have a loader. We explicitly need to create it and then give it our uh, exported file. This is the safest way. Otherwise, it uh, may or may not work. The drag and drop method. Once we have that, right click on it 
do script and uh, choose the recently installed one then uh, just hit run and very conveniently it uh, presented us with all the elements we have we have diffuse effects uh, and whatnot for simplicity i am just using uh, this uh, denoiser element and uh, one of the four cryptomats layers each of them will work i have yet to investigate why we have four but one will do now we have our uh, final output which is this denoised one our cryptomat to isolate part by objects now we need a media out media out this node uh, will uh, give the output from fusion page to the edit page it's a davinci resolve thing you won't find it in uh, the original fusion so the final output goes here that's it which is not the cryptomat it is the denoiser cryptomat is a helper for uh, cryptomat to work press control spacebar and type cryptomat so it was not there before installing the script after that it will appear then just plug it in so the convenient thing is what you are seeing on this image you can choose this gizmo place it over the blue box any colored box asset and if you notice yeah we have add remove and toggle so if i select this uh, by gizmo and add it so we can observe that each asset is its in own unique mask which is uh, much more efficient than a multimat we can have uh, multiple uh, assets in one node we can use however many nodes you want let's say this is one set of objects i am copying and pasting it plugging in the same uh, cryptomat element and in this one i am uh, removing the previous one uh, recreating the crypto node would be easier but i am just demonstrating that uh, you can remove and toggle now let's add this one and this one now let's have it have the third cryptomat give it the same element make it in display too and select this just one so it is very easy to isolate objects any filter let's say color character have it in between the denoiser and media out with the most of the nodes we have this uh, effect mask here we can plug in our crypto so with that if i increase the contrast it will only affect the selected one in our crypto node so selection can be anything you want so as you can see it is very flexible to have crypto math there is no previous uh, preparation required like in multimath and it uh, works uh, easily inside avinci now you can imagine it the usefulness of it is uh, crypto mat you have a perfect output but one thing is just not right and if you have uh, one crypto mat uh, render element already added in the scene you can fix it uh, without uh, re-rendering that is it thanks for watching